Jack stars Amy Schumer, Bill Hader, and is directed by Judd Apatow. So guys, if you've watched some of Judd Apatow's other movies, like The 40-Year-Old Virgin, This Is 40, Knocked Up, you can tell that he has kind of a certain formula about his movies. Uh, the actual plot of the movie is really just kind of a small portion of the movie itself. It's more of a situation where you have a series of skits of a group of people sitting in a room and they're all really funny and many times they'll be having conversations that have nothing to do with the actual plot. They'll be talking about little mundane facts and they make comedy out of it. And that's what I love about Judd Apatow's movies. So the basic premise of Trainwreck is Amy Schumer is a person who is trying to figure out her life. She doesn't want anything that is heavy. She doesn't want commitment. She has a lot of sleepovers. She just can't deal with relationships. So then she meets Bill Hader and this happens to be the first real relationship that she's ever had and so the movie is really her just kind of maneuvering around that relationship and dealing with it and seeing if she can come out on the other side unscathed. And what I love about this movie is it is definitely a comedy, but there's a lot of depth in there. You can tell that Amy Schumer really poured a lot of her own soul into this movie without sacrificing any of the comedy. I'm actually a big fan of her television show that's on Comedy Central, Inside Amy Schumer. And that was a big reason why I wanted to see this movie because I had a feeling that she's going to be a breakout star. And this movie feels like the perfect vehicle for her to do that. She's really just great in this. She's really, really funny. And she's one of those comedians that's not afraid to make fun of herself. I mean, she would rather make fun of herself than try to make herself look great or beautiful. And in Trainwreck, she surrounds herself with a great comedy cast, uh, such as Dave Attell, Jim Florentine, Vanessa Bayer, and Colin Quinn, who plays her father. But there's also a few scenes with uh, sports figures like LeBron James and John Cena. And both of them are really, really funny in this, hilarious even. Especially John Cena at the beginning. He, he really steals the whole scene in the movie theater. And who knew that these guys could have such great comedy chops? And I think that's because Judd Apatow was there and he really knows how to handle actors and non-actors. He really knows how to work them into a scene and make the scene funny. And that's not an easy task to pull off. I mean, we've seen sports figures in other movies and you could tell they couldn't act for shit. But in this movie, they're great. LeBron James is pretty much in half the movie and in every scene that he's in, he's always got some kind of comedy fat to chew on. He really knows how to handle these lines and stand on his own against a lot of comedy heavyweights. Also, another thing I really liked about this movie is the ending. The last like 10-15 minutes are really really funny. I guarantee you're gonna get a kick out of it. Now one of the problems with Judd Apatow's movies is they often come across as bloated or just way too long and Trainwreck is no exception. Uh, this movie feels like a good two to two and a half hours and that was the same case with Knocked Up and This Is 40. They almost overstay their welcome. I definitely think they could have edited this movie down and it would have been the perfect comedy. But having said that, I am definitely going to give Trainwreck a purchase worthy. It was a really funny movie. There was a lot of scenes where I was just rolling and the whole theater was rolling. So I definitely think you're going to have a great time with this movie. And guys, I've been going through my Q&A and I got a lot of questions there to uh, answer for you guys. And I'm going to get that video out real, real soon. So hopefully, hopefully at the end of this week. So what is your favorite Judd Apatow comedy? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Personally, I think mine is 40 Year Old Virgin. I really love that one. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and rum down out.